Well, they got well. Ovio got down on them first. They shot uh the manager. Yeah. Allegedly, allegedly, but I guess that's them retaliating and coming back for Ovio and hitting up the security guard. Did y'all see the Ovio logo with the owl with the bra on with that's, the skirt? I ain't hit. Disrespectful. That's what I'm saying, bro. This creativity hey, dude, is on another level. And, and that's another thing too, like the certain shit that he do was saying. If you don't sit and like <laughs> you, because he a uh, fat like. The way he rap, and some shit is slab, bro. But that, he, the way he was just disrespecting Drake and that whole brand, bro, was just crazy to me. So I just, I don't know. I, I fuck with dude. He showed me another side of him that I didn't really expect to see. Word. Yeah, Drake did a cop out in that last one though. He did too much explaining for me. Too much uh explaining. I mean, yeah, y'all putting pedophile allegations on. He gotta explain. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. And for him, and that was some strategic shit. He gotta explain. Like, hey, hey, I, I'm ghosting. He sounded so defeated though. It was mm-hmm. like, yeah, about hundred more songs. I'm done. And you know, it was yeah. How, how much? I want to say he sounded. It sounded over it. Like, it sounded like all the ghost writers left. Me that's what, you got <laughs> that's what it sounds like. All the ghost writers. But disappeared. how much more deep can it go? Like to me, all I have been hearing is just the deeper layers of like antagonizing each other Ooh. and then family and kids. Ooh. How much more deeper can it go? Right. No Diddy, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. But now I think this is the most creative goddamn beef we see in like live in action right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And since, we can't even talk since about 50, this. Since 50 and Ross. But now we living it of like old old enough to understand this shit. And we can't leave out BBL jersey. It has nothing to do with or well, Kendrick in a sense, but yeah, but I love that shit, bro. Like yeah. it's the best beef ever that I'm watching live in front on my phone, you feel me? <laughs> Just hand it to her. They can bring it around. That's crazy. Think, think, think about it. It might be. It's gonna be a minute the next time we see some shit like this. Two big ass heavy hitters. Man, it's gonna be a minute. And the next time some niggas really start beefing, we it ain't gonna even be nothing that we gonna want to talk about because we are gonna be like, who is these? Like, yeah. They don't even sound. Mm-hmm. So don't even I don't believe that. This. So what? is this the biggest beef since Jay and us? Yes. I'll say. Yes. I'll, I'll say. Hell no. Nah. It's on that you level. Think so? Pac- yeah. Wait, wait, wait cause then what, 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 you said, not uh, about Gucci Man and Jeezy. Nah, fi- yeah, nah, I would say Gucci Fifty and Ross. I mean, I'm not saying oh, it's better, but it's like here. They the was being real. That was real. Y'all forgot about Gucci Man and Jeezy. Somebody died behind that shit. That was real beef. Yeah. Good one, Yago. Facts. That's I'm but that wasn't at this caliber though of like how it's mainstream. But uh, to I mean, be honest, not really because Gucci wasn't mainstream when it happened. What? Yeah, I guess so. I give y'all that. It was a good street. Well, street. I didn't like, know that's what y'all doing, meant. That, I didn't that, know that's that, what y'all meant by that, it was mainstream. That happened. Well, I that mean, happened when he dropped so white. <laughs> I ain't know that's what y'all meant. I mean, you the, know what? The versus battle was that mainstream. Was, though, that, was, I mean, oh, that was like 03, well, yeah. 04. The only way you yeah. can really judge it, you got to base it off the people that was beefing at the height of each other's career. Like Tupac and Biggie, they was both at that peak. Right. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Uh, 50 and Ross, <laughs> they was both at a peak. Uh, even 50 and Ja. Ja was the biggest nigga in music whenever 50 think, Cent started the... You sure. think 50 and Ja's beef... I mean, 50 and Ross beef was bigger than 50 and Ja's beef? Mm-hmm. Nah. Hell oh, niggas got say. stabbed and yeah, shot. I, and say, them, I was in niggas, tune on that. Niggas is in jail till this day. Uh, Supreme. Niggas mm-hmm. is in jail till this day behind that shit. It's some bullshit. Yeah. But I think it is at the Tony Ayo smack... They career, though. Tony Ayo smack Supreme son. Give me, I, need a nigga like, I need a nigga like Yayo on my team, man. They was bullying uh, Murphy. <laughs> they was straight bullying that nigga Murphy. Is loyal. There is no I smell m- murder. That's why that nigga rich on tour. The two most loyal niggas is Tony Yayo yes. and Spliff Star. No, nah, Spliff for sure. <laughs> there is no two niggas more loyal then Tony Yago <laughs> and Spliff Hold Star. You, know who's Spliff? you called him Tony you Yago. Him Tony Yago. <laughs> oh, oh, he my, bad. About you. Hey. my bad. <laughs> Ain't nobody, <laughs> more, loyal. Ain't nobody, Ain't nobody no more loyal than Tony yeah. Yayo, <laughs> Spliff Star, <laughs> and my nigga Yago. Yeah. Man, give me some, <laughs> baby. Give me some, baby. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, I think as far as like being at the peak, it was Jay Z and Nas who's bigger. And now is Kendrick and um. Well, no, the, the peak right. peak is really Tupac and Biggie. You think so? Hell yeah, that was a coast to coast niggas not like yeah yeah you, yeah for sure. You that had the, two different coasts. They started a whole world civil war. Type. Man, yeah. it's a civil war for real. That, like, and both of them, I'm living in Ohio, both, talking about West Side. I'm talking yeah. about I'm on the West Side. Both of them died into that too. If, yeah, if, sure. if it was really connected to it, it but, was. You know what I mean, so. 
Yeah. Yeah, I don't see Drake and uh Did he Drake dying over Did he this. won that beef? Show did. Damn, shit. So I say one. <laughs> I already mentioned. Tupac, Biggie. Second they place. Keep detail it. Second place, Jay and Nas. Third, of course, Drake and K-Dot. Hey man, Period. That's a, that deserved an award by itself. You got the top beefs. <laughs> oh. That's the big three right there. Yeah, facts. That, that's the big three. The T.I. and uh, Flip. Man, fuck out of here, little Flip. Nah, <laughs> I heard bro. little Flip in he the building. I'm saying T.I. and Goo. Gucci's <laughs> diss was punk ass yeah, to the stage. Gucci's diss was better. That's what type of nigga Gucci, walk around in a leprechaun suit is. with a leprechaun charm and some leprechaun boots? Bro, so the shit out of time. <laughs> and what kind Bro's of king wore a three piece suit in the middle of the summer with some. Hey, what'd he say? What? Hey, that Aww. nigga went crazy on them niggas. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so we're going to get off that. <laughs>